So this question starts off with giving us a system of equations here. Um, we have 3 fourths x minus 1 half y equals 12, followed by ax minus by equals 9. So the question says the system of equations above has no solution. So this is very, very important. What does it mean for a system of equations to have no solutions? It very literally means, right, so this is the part to really pay attention to, it means that both x and y cancel out simultaneously. Okay, so, you know, if we were, if we were solving a system of equations question, we'd use either um, elimination as a method, elimination, or we'd use substitution. And what I'm basically saying is, either of these methods that you want to use, if in the use of that method, both X and Y cross out or cancel out simultaneously, you're in a, hey, this system has no solutions. Like that's the, that's the state that you'd be in. There'd be no solutions for that system of equations. So let's keep that in mind as we keep reading. The question goes on to say, if A and B are constants, what is the value of A over B? All right, so here's our actual question. What is this A over B at value? So I'm going to just rewrite the system of equations. So 3 fourths X minus 1 half Y equals 12. And right below that, I'll have my AX minus BY equals 9. So because I've been told that the system of equations has no solutions, I already know what I want A and B to be, right? Like, I need A to equal negative 3 fourths. Because that's the only way that when I add this bottom equation to the top equation, a equaling negative 3 fourths is the only way that this entire thing crosses out. And I need B to equal negative 1 half. Because if B is negative 1 half, then it makes it a positive, right, because I have a minus here already. If I plug negative 1 half into this B, I'd get a positive 1 half in the bottom equation. And therefore, when I add those two equations together, my y values would, sign, would also, right, they would also cross out. So here is the A that I need to have. Here's the B that I need to have. So the question is asking, well, what is A over B? So that's going to be negative 3 fourths over negative 1 half. I always just write that as negative 3 fourths divided by negative 1 half, which turns into negative 3 fourths times negative 2 over 1. Do a little bit of cross canceling. And we see that that gives us negative 3 times negative 1, which is positive 3, and then 2 times 1, which is 2. So our answer here is 3 halves.